Welcome to SonicWall Video Solutions. My name is Kritika Nakshatri. In this video, we will demonstrate how to add a local user on the SonicWall appliance. The SonicWall security appliance provides a local database for storing user and group information. The SonicWall can be configured to use this local database to authenticate users and control their access to the network. The local database is a good choice if the number of users accessing the network is relatively small. For networks with larger number of users, user authentication using LDAP or RADIUS servers can be more efficient. Today for demonstration, we are using a SonicWorld NSA220 with the firmware version 5.9.0.6. To begin with the configuration, navigate to the Users tab, Local Users, click on Add User. You will also notice that when you hover the mouse pointer over the Add User button, it shows you the number of maximum entries, which is 150. A maximum of 150 user accounts can be added here. You would need to enter a username for each of these user accounts. The username and password are generally case sensitive. For demonstration, we will use the name User1. Provide a password as per your requirement. Confirm the password. If you want the user to be able to change the password, you can enable the option User Must Change Password. If this account requires a one-time password, you can enable the option Require One-Time Passwords and use the user's email address here. Account lifetime can also be set. If you select minutes, hours or days, you would get the option to enter the particulars. Once the mentioned account lifetime is complete, the user will not be able to log in with the user credentials given to this account. Under the Groups tab, you can set the group membership for this user. If you want the user to be a part of the SonicWorld administrators, read-only administrators or limited administrators, you can choose the particular user group in here and move it to the Member of column. The user groups that are showing up here are all the inbuilt user groups. If you have custom user groups configured, these will show up as well and you can add this user to the required groups. The VPN access tab allows you to set what this user can access. You can limit the access of this user to just one internal IP by creating a custom address object for the IP required and adding it to the access list. You can provide this user access to the complete LAN subnets or any particular subnet like the X2 subnet or the X6 subnet. Based on the requirement, you can select the network that this user needs to access and move it to the column under the access list. Under the bookmark tab, only if this user is a part of the SSL VPN groups, you would be able to add a bookmark for this user. If SSL VPN is configured and is being used on your network, you can add the user to the SSL VPN group under the group membership and then set the required bookmark for this user. Once the settings are complete, click on OK. We have now created one user account called User1. When this user logs in, he would need to use the username as User1 and the password that was provided for this account. As mentioned earlier, the usernames are generally case sensitive. In order to change the setting, navigate to the user's settings page and uncheck the option case sensitive usernames. Click on accept. This will disable the case sensitivity of the usernames. This brings us to the end of this video on how to add a local user on the SonicWall appliance. To learn more about Dell SonicWall security products, please visit dellsoftware.com slash solutions slash network hyphen security. For more video tutorials, visit dellsoftware.com slash support. I hope this has been informative and thank you for watching this video.